is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this 23rd day of January, Tuesday, we're looking at the market, the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Yes, it is a little bit red, down 70 points at 37,932 after making an all-time high in the 38,000s yesterday. And this is the this rectangle that I've been drawing in since uh, mid-December has been saying this is kind of the 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 sideways consolidation that I've been expecting. Yes, we broke to a new high. Well, uh, we have been breaking to new highs in the Dow. But basically what we're looking at is, so far, it's a sideways pattern with very strong support in the 37,600s. We're looking at the S&P, slightly different chart formation. The S&P um, made a new high yesterday. It's very close to that today. It's up eight. No, it's up six at 48 uh, 56. Uh, watching this closely, there's an inside track repellent zone coming up right here. We'll see if that gets broken to the upside or the market gets pulled back from that level. Looking at the QQQ, um, all time high yesterday. I have this as a leg C, possibly a peak C. That's just one more pop to the upside. There may be a bit of a hiatus. Weekly chart is still very strong. IWM playing catch up here. Up a dollar uh, at 197.71. And that's really important. You see this rotation through the different sectors as there's some kind of a consolidation after spectacular move. We've seen that in Microsoft, a couple of the other big names. Now let's go to gold. Gold is now up uh, 2.6 at 2024, just stuck in the sideways thing, the magnet of the 200 period moving average of 2003. Uh, the further the way we can get to the upside, the, the less magnetism it has. But we've got to watch that closely because the dollar is still acting quite well. The dollar is up uh, 16 ticks at 103.50. I'm expecting it to try for a leg D at 103.76. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil tried to rally a little earlier on. It's now down 38 cents, 74.38. And the TLT, that's bonds. The TLT is once again down. See, yields are coming up. I'll talk about this when we return for the Tiger Traditions Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News Letter. See you in a few minutes. And it should be quite an exciting session today, as I think there's a little bit of, as I said, to subscribers to my opening call. Some kind of consolidation today. We'll see what happens. <laughs> 